I started playing poker my last year of high school, just in the cafeteria with friends. Then shortly thereafter, I made a very small deposit online and played one cent, two cent cash, ran up a little bit of a roll, and then I started playing sit and goes, and eventually I moved back to playing cash, and nowadays I focus on high stakes tournaments, though I play pretty much every no limit variant that exists. Uh, I sought out mental game coaching because I was struggling with motivation. As it turned out after I had actually burnt out, but I was going through a period where SNE was still a thing on PokerStars and it was nearing the end of the year in I think 2014, might have been 2013. And so I just had to put in a lot of volume at the end of the year and I needed help getting motivated. I realized that working on my mindset was really important in late 2013 or 2014. That's when online poker just started becoming really competitive. I was playing a lot of sit and goes and everyone was putting in a lot of volume, putting in a lot of hours. And sit and goes at the time and still are were a game of very small edges. So you always needed to be performing at peak when you were playing these games because one small mistake just kills your profitability for the entire tournament. So you had to stay really perfect and that was really hard to do putting in a lot of hours every day of the week. And that's when I realized that aside from just working on my technical game, I also needed to work on my mindset. I elected to work with Elliot because a friend of mine recommended him to me. I had been working with a couple of other mental game coaches before, and after a couple of sessions with Elliot, I really liked his approach, and so I stuck with it. A strong mental game is very important to the overall success in poker. In 2019, poker is very, very competitive everyone has a very good technical backbone to their game. And so being able to bring your A game to every session is extremely important. There are things that I do on a micro level to bring my A game to every session. And those are things generally before the session. So one of the things that I really like to do is list my long-term goals before I put in a session because that allows me to put a specific session in the context of a bigger picture. And that actually makes the specific session a lot more important. And then on a more macro level, I try to meditate as much as I can. And I think that generally just helps me be more mindful and increases the probability of me putting in an A plus session in terms of mindset in, on any given day. I think there's lots of life benefits to mental game work. Generally, not even talking about mental game, I see a lot of parallels between poker and real life. And I think understanding poker has improved my understanding of day-to-day -day life. And when it comes to mental game, obviously being mindful, being in the moment and performing optimally at poker is going to be able to translate into doing other things in your life at a high level. I have recommended mental game coaching to my own personal students. And so I would assume that Phil has a similar vision in mind. He wants every Run at Once member to improve and to play the best poker that they can. And having a strong mental game is certainly a large part of that. And I think that's why he's bringing in Elliot. Working on your mindset is like improving any other skill. 
it's a little bit of a grind and it takes daily, daily effort. And so it's very important to keep putting in the hours, if you will, because there is no silver bullet solution to fixing your mindset. So start as soon as possible and stick with it. I do meditate and I can only say positive things about how it's affected my day-to-day -day life. I think it's made me a calmer person overall. It's helped me with my motivation. It's also made me a lot more mindful. It's important to link your physical health to your mental game. I know that for me personally, a really hard workout puts me in the sweet spot for having an A plus mental game session. That doesn't work for everyone. I know some friends that prefer to have a light workout and that puts them in the sweet spot, but whatever works for you, you need to figure out how your physical health relates to your mental game. There are no specific players that I look up to for a strong mental game, but that's not because I think that there's a lack of players with a strong mental game. I think that the mid and high stakes environment nowadays is just infiltrated with people who all have very strong mental games. And so I just pick out the best things that I see in people that I'm close with and try to emulate what they do in terms of their mental game.